Hey guys, it's Dabs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can copy any live website to Figma Designs with the help of this amazing plugin called HTML to Design. So you can see on my laptop screen here is HTML to Design. This is the official website. So if you come down here, you will see good, good stuff about how extremely fantastic this plugin is helping you literally just copy any live website to Figma Designs. Now, let's see exactly how this works inside of Figma. So if you come to Figma, uh, instead of you trying to design your website from scratch, you can just literally just use this plugin. You can come to plugins. You can come to plugins here. In your case, you might not have this plugin here called HTML to Design. You might want to to manage plugins here and then search for html to design i have this plugin here so i will just literally just launch this plugin so we have this plugin here it's a fantastic fantastic plugin it's a free plugin it also has a pro version there are some limitations using the free one of the limitations you have on the free is that you'll be able to use it for a limited amount of time every month and then you may not be able to have the option here for you to edit your viewpoint and this is very very critical when you're trying to make a design inside of Figma. So you can see here that I have options here for viewpoint. So one of the things that you can do with the Pro again is that it gives you option here for custom viewpoint. So you can see that I can literally just delete this. I can just say I want 400 pixels for my mobile viewpoint. How super cool is this? So this is the beauty of you going pro and then you have the options here for you to select your auto layout which is very very beautiful for your designs and then hyperlinks you can create styles and then use existing styles and that's very very fantastic you have the option here to also switch from a light to a dark uh, theme but i would leave this as is and then i'll close this for the purpose of this example, let's just pick a random website to clone. For example, let's say we want to copy Elementor.com here. I can just literally copy this URL here. And then I can come back to my Figma designs and I'll paste that URL here. So for my viewpoint, I'm selecting 1920. I can just switch this back to 1440, which is for a laptop. And just this and I can also select all of the viewpoints here so I will have different Figma designs in different uh, viewpoints so that we can have a responsive design. That's super cool, right? So let's switch this to a laptop view only for the purpose of this example and then let's close this and then let's hit the import button and you can see this plugin is doing its magic so we'll give you some few more seconds to finish up. Fantastic, we have this import done. Uh, however, we have some issues here, suggestions to improve how your page looks. So we have missing font, definitely. I have done a tutorial before on how to clone Elementor.com. I literally redesigned this page. In that tutorial, you see exactly how I use Elementor plugin, free plugin to redesign this home page step by step. So you see that tutorial on the screen right now. You can check out for that tutorial. Fantastic tutorial. And I mentioned how Elementor use premium, premium, not too easy to find font on your website. So if you come back here, so you can see that we have those missing fonts here. Because those fonts are premium, we don't have access to them. But the beauty about this is that this plugin is able to find this front and we can download this font directly into our computer and then install into our computer. That is fantastic. So I will do a separate tutorials on this to show you exactly how you can download this font. So you can see I have this font downloaded right now here into my computer. And I think this is very, very amazing. So I would not put on that in this tutorial. You can check out for that tutorials. We have two images that may be available in higher resolution. So we want to download this so we can say import. Unfortunately, there you can see that we do not have this higher resolution image. It says it's not found, and that's fine. So right now, let's close this pop up here, and then we are done with this plugin. So right now, let's close this, and then we can see that we have a page here. Uh, what I would do right now is for me to come up here, and then let's just zoom 
is to fit so we can see everything we have so fantastic we have this landing page here so right now i can just easily just zoom in to see this real real quick so you can see this is beautiful just like that we have elementor home page right now in figma design so you can literally just continue your design and then you can work on the text you can redesign this and this is good to go i don't need to say so much if you are a ui ux designer you can tell that this is a fantastic tool this would help you increase your web design workflow 100 percent trust me uh, that's it for this plugin before I end this tutorial, I want to also let you know what you still can do with this. You can literally, with a click of a button, convert this design into WordPress. Not just WordPress, but an Elementor page. This is crazy. I have done a tutorial around that on this channel before. I will leave a link on the screen right now for you to see that tutorial. How you can use a fantastic plugin to convert this Figma design into elementor that's my time for this tutorial if you find it very useful give me a thumbs up if you have any issues whatsoever let me know in the comment section i'll be looking out to help you as much as possible as i can subscribe to this youtube channel so that you don't miss out on further tutorials like this from me and so you turn on the notification bell so that youtube notifies you when i drop those videos thank you for watching i'll see you in another tutorial until then stay safe